Okay, question number seven, part D. Now, part D, it says, find the number of different selections if the four letters include exactly one P. Now, remember it says selections. So that means you're selecting, and this is combination. And whenever it says choose or select, this is combination. In the previous parts, part A, B, and C, we had arrangements, so that was permutation. So here we know that this question is for combination. Uh, it says over here, you have, uh, find the number of different selections if the four letters include exactly one P. So you are selecting four letters. It should only include one P, so that's one P. Now how many possible different combinations can we have for one P? So one P, and we need to remember that we have two P's over here, three E's over here, and five different letters, which are just unique, one each, and three E's, and two P's. So out of the two P's, I'm just selecting one. So I'm done with this. Out of the three E's, okay, so I can only have all three E's. So that's just gonna give me one. The other one I can have is one P, two E's, and one other letter. So that's still going to give me this P, E, that's going to give me one. This means out of the five, I have an option for any one now. Then P, E, and two letters over here. That means five C, two. P with no E's. Now I have three options that I can select out of five. So I've taken all the E's, I've taken two E's, I've taken one E and then I've taken no E. So when there are three E's and one P, so I'm not selecting anyone, anything from the remaining five because I already have four. One, two, three, and four. Because I already have to, only have to select four letters from the, the 10, the word shopkeeper. So for the first one, I just get one. From the second one, 5C1, that gives me five. From the third one, 5C2, that gives me 10. From the fourth one, 5C3, that also gives me 10. So the total possible number of ways would be one plus five, plus 10, plus 10. And that gives you 26 ways. And that should be the answer. 